What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Sega Model 3 emulator within Rocket Launcher. Um, we have to do per game settings, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's really easy, it takes a couple of minutes and then you're good to go and they should work perfectly for you. Um, it was brought to my attention on my Patreon as well as on uh, my YouTube channel that people were having issues and so I'm going to show you how we're going to address it. So if you have the Hyper Arcade Sega Model 3 add-on pack, what you're going to want to do is go into your Hyper Arcade folder, go into Rocket Launcher, Rocket Launcher UI, and then go ahead and launch rocketlauncherui.exe. Um, I already have it launched. I just launch it up. Now when you get into Rocket Launcher UI, um, you're going to be on the global tab more, most likely. We're going to scroll down on this left side here, and we're going to go to Sega Model 3 and make sure that's highlighted. Next, we're going to want to make sure we click on Emulators, and then we're going to click right here, Edit Global Module Settings. Now from in here, you can see we have ROM settings. We're going to click that. So I have all my ROMs already done, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I'm actually going to do it all for, for everybody. So let me just clear all of these. If I can select them all, that would be great. No, I cannot. So everything, I'm not going to delete them all here, but what you'll do, you'll have nothing here. Just go and hit the add button and just go down the list. So we'll start with Daytona 2 and just double click them all so that once you click the add button there's nothing left. And then we'll scroll up to the top of the list starting with Cyber Troopers. What you're going to want to do here, we'll go full screen. Down here you can see clear NVRAM. It's going to be set to default for you. Set it to true. Next, we have the other Cyber Troopers. Clear NVRAM, set it to true. Daytona 2, set it to false. So Daytona USA Power Edition, set to false. Daytona USA 2 Battle on the Edge, we're going to set that to false as well. And make sure the rest are true. So I've got true, true, Daytona should be false. Dirt Devil's true, Dirt Devil's true, 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 true. I'm not going to keep saying true. <laughs> I just want to make sure that everything I have here says true, except for the two Daytona USA 2s. We want those set to false. So my Virtua Striker says default. I'm going to go to true. So make sure if it says default that you, you change it to true. You could possibly leave it to default, but I like to just leave it as true. It's working for me, so that's I like to make sure everything's working perfectly for me. And if it's worked for me, it should work for you guys as well. So we go from default to true. And from default to true. So once we have that all done, you should have your whole list here. And when you click that add button, there's nothing here. Make sure you have them all here, set to true, except for Daytona. USA 2 Power Edition and Daytona USA 2 Battle on the Edge. Make sure those are set to false. Now we can close that out and we'll close Rocket Launcher UI as well. Uh, next thing is to get Daytona running. I'm going to show you guys that as well. So we're going to launch Hyper Arcade. I have my computer muted, so Model 3. So when you go to launch, I've already got this Daytona set but this one is not. So when you go to launch Daytona USA, it's going to keep telling you that there's no network board and it's going to keep resetting itself. And I'm going to show you guys that here. And it's really easy to fix. So it'll say don't touch anything.
and then canceled network board not present and then it's going to reset itself and if you see right here at the top it says link ID master we got to change that so what we're going to do is on your keyboard press number six so I press the number six to navigate use the number five so go to get the arrow to game assignments press number six and then we're going to press number five and we're going to press num on link ID we're going to press number six until we get to single and that's it and if you want to change the difficulty you could if you wanted to and then we're just pressing number five to navigate on exit we're going to press number six then we'll press number five till we get to exit again press number six now the game is booting you see the link ID now it boots so we'll back out of there and I'm just going to make sure that both my Daytonas so you'll have to do it for both Daytonas exact same way and uh, after that every time you launch them they were not clearing the NVRAM so the settings will stick and that way they'll boot for you in the single mode there we go so it's the same thing for both Daytona games uh, you'll do the exact same process as what I just showed you and there we go um, <clears throat> a couple of quick things that's it guys I mean that sets everything up a couple of quick things that I do want to mention I was reading the frequently asked questions on the Supermodel 3 the emulators website and there's a couple of games so we have Sega Rally 2 so basically when you launch the game don't insert any coins until you see some 3d graphics it's just some kind of a glitch um, it's not always an issue but it actually has happened to me so I did what they suggested and I never have any problems so don't hit your coin buttons and still don't hit your coin buttons so this will you want to do this for Sega Rally 2 um, as well as the Star Wars game uh, so now we've got some graphics you can see mine glitching out I'm not sure if that's my computer or just the emulation but now I can insert my coins and it'll take me here to whatever I want to choose so I don't have my buttons set up right now but I can press up up is gas and then left and right here but you can see the game running so that's how you get um, the Sega Model 3 emulator um, running through Rocket Launcher um, and this is a fix for Hyper Arcade but if you have Sega Model 3 running through Rocket Launcher uh, no matter no matter what build you're using um, this is how you'll get the games to run properly so again guys uh, I really appreciate you watching um, I wish I would have done this in the first video I didn't realize it was an issue um, that this emulator had a couple of little tweaks that you had to do um, but again it's it's not that hard and if you just follow the video um, this will get you up and running and I've been testing this and testing this ever since I heard someone had a problem and every game always launches for me now I never have an issue so please hit that like button uh, subscribe to the channel and most importantly have a good day